Google provided an early look at its upcoming flagships, Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro smartphones. The most important feature of these phones is the new custom processor, along with a new camera system and design. The Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro run on Google's new Tensor processor. This is a custom design chip, which means even if it may be manufactured by a third party, the design of the chip is done by Google. This is similar in concept to the A-series processors that Apple has on its iPhone. The Tensor processor on the Pixel 6 series does not have any confirmed specs at this point. We also do not know who will be manufacturing them for Google, although previous rumors pointed to Samsung. Google claims it will make the Pixel 6 the fastest, smartest and most secure Pixel phone yet. One prominent feature of this chip is, its AI and machine learning capabilities, which seemingly exceed anything Google has had before on its phones. According to Google, it was the main reason the company invested in designing its own chip, so that it can implement its AI and ML features in a way it couldn't with off-the-shelf parts. Some of these smart features will be used in the new camera system on these two phones. Both phones have the same wide and ultra-wide cameras but the Pixel 6 Pro will also have a 4x telephoto. No specs are available for these at the moment. Google also seems to have upped its video recording game with this generation. Initial hands-on reports suggests that the Pixel 6 captures similar or even better quality video than the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Both phones also have updated displays. The Pixel 6 will have a 90Hz flat panel whereas the Pixel 6 Pro will have a 120Hz curved display. Both will have a single hole punch camera at the top. The design is also quite distinctive this year. The Pixel 6 features a matte finished metal frame with glass on the back. The Pixel 6 Pro has a glossy metal frame and glass on the back. Both phones have this slightly retro-looking camera bar, at the back that is reminiscent of the Nexus 6. Both phones also come in three colors, with a two-tone appearance on some of them, with a pre-installed Android 12. That's pretty much all we know about these phones so far. Both phones will be available later this year in the fall, which should be around October. We also have no word on pricing, but expect them to be as expensive as other flagship phones on the market.